If you have forgotten a password, or you are required to try and break into accounts for ethical hacking, John the Ripper is the tool to use. To locate John the Ripper, you click the icon on the top left, in the menu called Password Attacks. We require two files for the example, a file called passwd and shadow, both stored in the etc folder. As shown, we can view passwd and its contents using the cat command. We can also do the same with the shadow file, but as this is list of hashes for passwords, you need permissions to view. So use sudo. All you have to do now is copy the username details for Joseph, or whatever username you are using. Open the nano editor, creating a file called passwd and paste the details in there. Make sure this file is on the desktop. Once saved, you will see the file on your desktop on the left. We are going to carry out the very same operation for the shadow file, copying the hash value for Joseph and pasting it into a file called shadow on the desktop. As you can see in this example, the shadow file is protected for obvious reasons, so requires sudo to read. Create the shadow file. As you can see, the shadow file is now on your desktop. Part of the process is to merge the two files, passwd and shadow together, creating a third file called unshadow.txt. This will also appear on the desktop. We are now going to show the location of the word lists, which contain thousands of pre-prepared passwords. This is in a folder called user forward slash share forward slash word lists. I have created my own password list file for the purposes of demonstration called gin hyphen password.txt. Before cracking it, take a look at the contents of your unshadow file on the desktop. It has merged the username and password hash. We are now going to get to crack the password using John the Ripper. Coming up is a rather lengthy command. We are going to use the John command followed by the hyphen hyphen word lists. This will then be equal to the location of the word list containing the stored passwords. Following that, we are then going to be using a particular format with the crypt format being used to crack it. The unshadow.txt file on the desktop is being targeted. Type in your sudo account password and you will see the password for the Joseph account. There you have it, you have now cracked the Joseph account, proving that Joseph certainly didn't have a strong password at all. Thanks again for watching another easy to follow video by the G-Man channel. Like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.